Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Yes, you. Welcome to a cider review and a cider review with a difference because I'm not just doing one cider, I'm doing two ciders. Two ciders from the same people. Two ciders priced the same in Tesco, a pound a can. So you can't go wrong there, can you? So we're going to Thatcher's and we have uh, we have a can of uh, Stan's Leaf Twister at 5%. Super smashing great in the green corner. There you go. I'll give her a spin. Light shit at the moment. I do apologise. I shall read you that. And we have in the red corner uh, Stan's Barrel Roller coming in at 6%. So there you go. Uh, the light is shit, isn't it? I should do it in another room, but, you know, I haven't got a brilliant camera, as you might have guessed from the previous reviews. Me and technology, we don't get on, so I thought I'll always upload my reviews with a shit camera. <laughs> then you can't see me ugly bonds, can you? Anyway, so, I shall read you this one, Leaf Twister. Original Stan's recipe, sparkling cider, Stan Thatcher likes his like his father, before him loved to craft Somerset cider at Myrtle Farm. Generations have followed in his footsteps. Back in the day, local farmers would bring their finest apples to stand to be crafted in their favourite cider. Right, on the barrel roller it says original Stan's recipe, sparkling cider. Stan Thatcher, like his father before him, loved to craft Somerset cider at Myrtle Farm. Generations have followed in his footsteps. Bit of a deja vu feeling there, boys and girls. Stan lined a row of barrels in his cider shop for locals to enjoy. Get them pissed and sell them a load more cider. That's why I like. He sounds a bit of a dude, this Stan, doesn't he? Um, yeah, so there you go. So, without further ado, let's crack open the leaf twister. And this is um, a traditional big apple cider. It's not saying anything else. Let's pour out like we do. Very clear looking, pale looking cider. And there you go. Very clear looking. And now we're going to open up the barrel roller cloudy cider. This is cloudy from Tremulous Bitter and Dabinet Apples. So. Let's crack this one open. Cat's being a twat at the moment. I do apologise if you hear any noises. So, there you go. I really should have these with apple pie. But one of my um, subscribers keeps having a go at me to do cider and apple pie. I do apologise, Mr. Steele. But I haven't got any apple pie. So, there you go. So, leaf twister, um, barrel roller. Right, the leaf twister... Very clear looking, a barrel roller, a bit more cloudy, um, a little bit less in carbonation. Um, yeah, that's, big, that's, that's got a party of bubbles going on in that. So let's get the aromas. Leaf twister. <sighs> Smells a bit acidic. Acidic apples for me. Um, the barrel roller. Much the same to be honest. Acidic apples are pretty much identical in aromas. Both same strength for sulfites in the aroma as well. So, the proof is in the taste, boys and girls. Proof is in the taste. So, I'm going to go in with a leaf twister. So, cheers. Very crisp. Um, not really any big apple taste. It says a big apple cider, a big apple cider. For me, it's not real big, big apple in flavour. It's it's pleasant. It's crisp, sweet, and leaves quite a nice, pleasant. Pleasant dryness on the back of the mouth, on the back end, should I say. Now we've got the barrel roller. A 
bit more bitter. Bit more bitter. Feels a little bit more heavier. And there's more apple. I can get more apple out of the leaf twister than I can out of the barrel roll, I'll be honest. Um, I prefer both, basically, these both ciders are both okay. They're both okay. Um, there is, I do prefer one over the other. Am I going one more time? So the leaf twister. Very pleasant. I can see myself drinking a lot of that. Bow roller. Slightly spicier. Um, Texture in the mouth, it's a little bit more heavier, a little bit more bitter, a bit more substantial. Um, but all in all, very pleasant beer. Um, my favourite, boys and girls, I think you might have guessed it by now, is the Leaf Twister out of the two. Um, they're both okay, but that one for me um, is 5%, slightly less than the Bow Roller, but it's a little bit more pleasant for me. Um, I'm not really a big cider man, but I'm starting to review more lately. And um, yeah, Thatcher's uh, Stan's Leaf Twister is the winner for me. Buy that one. I think people will enjoy that on that score. Thank you for watching this cider review. See you boys and girls on a beer review. See you later.